I wish my, my father, my mother, and my sisters. Well, basically, they're all, they're all my idols. They're all role models. You know, it starts from Duke, and then, you know, it goes to Ben Ipa and to the Icaos. And, well, you know, I was really surprised, and I was just uh, really proud to be a part of it. It was uh, unbelievable. I lived in a unique time and have spanned so many generations of people. I knew Eddie. I was a friend with Eddie Aikau. I was um, a friend with Clyde. I was a friend with Ben Ipa. When I was 15, and part of the most predominant photograph on my wall at 15 was Ben Ipa doing a bottom turn around John Peck. John Peck represented the past, and Ben Ipa represented the future. Duke was there, and we were talking, and you know he knew who I was and who Eddie Aikau was. And he just, he just mentioned to us guys, how come you guys not in this that we told him we're not, uh, we're not recognized, you know? And Duke said, you guys are recognized in Hawaii next year. He got us in. Yeah. So owing something to a person like that, you know, for recognizing a product coming from Hawaii, you know, to be in a major event. He was behind it, yeah. Pelling out, the guy's smiling on this huge wave. I'm pelling out, go, and he, <laughs> I learned, okay? What he did, he smiled. He was enjoying taking off on his lip launcher, you know? So I go, okay, I can do that, you know? I can, I can get that feeling. Boom, I grasped on, I grasped on to it and was part of my, my approach. Oh yeah. yeah. Buffalo, I think of Makah and his great love for the sport and his, for his family and for all, the, for all the people on the west side. The thing that they always talk about in Hawaii is aloha and, and they represented aloha to me. And uh, they, they were, uh, and they're all, uh, they're all, uh, they're all really good gentlemen and uh, fun to be around. And, uh, and uh, there's a lot of laughs, a lot of music, and a lot of fun when you're with that group. Yeah. Buffalo's family is real nice, Momi and Brian and Rusty and all the kids. And, and uh, they, they're, they're sort of a, a landmark there on the, on the Makaha side. Buffalo is a typical waterman because he's an unbelievably good diver. He, he was known more for body surfing when I first came to the islands than he was for board surfing because he was just an uncanny body surfer. And then uh, as a board surfer, he was ambidextrous. He could switch dances just with no problem. He's just natural athlete. We are people from the Pacific, you know what I mean? We're, we're ocean people. When you talk about the Ho brothers, you always have to remember that Michael was one of the most predominant people at Pipeline. The early backside guys that actually would, you know, grab a rail and pull in backside long before, you know, pig dogging as it's known today was ever created. When Derek matured as a surfer, he was the first guy that I actually saw do major floaters. And he was way ahead of the curve. He was doing floaters before anybody else was doing floaters, even before Kelly was doing floaters. The hose were very creative and very advanced. Clyde Aikau uh, and I were friends, but we were also similar in age, and we were a very similar rivalry. We were both trying to you know, accomplish uh, wins in the Duke contest or in some of their surfing contests, and I think we were as much rivals as we were friends. Uh, we're much more friends now. Clyde is Hawaiian monarchy. He's regal. His position in surfing is what he represents. In 1973, I was fortunate to have been invited and I won the title of Duke Hahanamoku champion. Eddie was 
was uh, fortunate to have won the event in 1976. And he was named the Duke Hahanamoku champion. Uh, it, and he was very proud because he knew the Duke personally and he wanted to get his big win while the Duke was still alive, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't in the cards. So in his big win in 1976, uh, he had won it. He had uh, given his win, dedicated his win to the Duke, uh, to his family, and to the Hawaiian people. Eddie Aikau, um, a mentor, uh, a guidance figure, a, a person with uh, integrity and dignity. I think of Waimea Bay, and I always think of Eddie Aikau, so you know, it's pretty simple. <laughs> he was such a pure spirit. He really wanted everybody to get along better than they did. Well, for me, neither I call, yeah, because the guy was a Hawaiian. The guy was charging. He come in, Pops and, and, and Mama Kao, they, they get peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> you know, water, you know. Every day, she look at me and I look at her, she smile and I smile. And Every day. I think it's what you give back to people, and I think what you do for the younger kids and for your community is what really is going to matter. All the money in the world will come and go, fame and fortune will come and go, but uh, when that moment comes for you, you want to feel content, you want to feel satisfied. Um, and you want to be at ease with yourself, within yourself, from your heart and your spirit and your soul. My friends who won the awards for contributions to the Hawaiian culture, I do appreciate all that you've done and respect you for all that you've done and I admire you and thank you. Be happy and uh, ahoy ho and I love all you guys. Aloha. <laughs>